Jen Schooler, CEO of New Zealand Avocado. I'd like to give you an overview of our avocado industry in New Zealand. We're going to look at the avocado value chain from the nurseries through growers, packers and exporters. We're going to have a look at the markets that we export our avocados to and the New Zealand market as well. I'd like to chart the growth we've seen in the last 10 years and just have a look at some of the reasons for that wonderful growth and some of the investment that's happened in our industry because of it. We're going to have a look at the activity that New Zealand Avocado undertakes as the industry body, research and development, biosecurity, export systems and market access. And we're going to look at the opportunities for our industry and how we're going to get to our goals of being a billion dollar industry by 2040. If foods were celebrities, our wonderful avocado rocks the red carpet. But it is an A-lister for a reason. Delicious, nutritious and amazingly versatile. Oprah Winfrey purchased an avocado orchard due to the high costs of avocados and always wants to take her own avocados when travelling so she knows they're there. Miley Cyrus made the news with her avocado tattoo. Supermodel Gazelle Bunchen and her husband dressed up as avocados on toast for Halloween in New York. And the Ava Latte was designed by a rebellious cafe owner in Australia, combining the two after comments went viral that young people should stop buying coffee and avocados on toast and save for a house instead. On the other side, which I'll cover later, there is a Netflix movie, Rotten, highlighting some of the darker sides of avocado production and the high price of avocados out of season. Looking at our own value chain, we have 1,400 growers, 14 registered pack houses, 10 registered exporters and 11 export markets. We are the industry body, New Zealand Avocado, and we play a role in supporting and enabling all of the players on the value chain of avocados. So that's in the nursery, on the orchard, when we're looking at on-orchard management, harvesting the avocados, helping setting the grade standards and ensuring that pack house are audited against those grade standards, ensuring that we have industry systems so that all of our avocados leaving New Zealand meet export requirements, a role opening new markets, maintaining that market access and developing and promoting in the markets that we're selling our new avocados from New Zealand. Avocados grow in the temperate climate in the north of the North Island, from Apultiki through Bay of Plenty, Coromandel, Auckland and South Auckland, and across most of Northland. We have mapped all of our avocado orchards, and they're shown here on our map, where the, the red-orange regions are where there's the highest density of avocado orchards. We grow in beautiful conditions, often coastal, but it does mean our avocados are subject to rain, wind and potentially cooler climates than their origins in Central America. This slide looks at the industry value in New Zealand dollars and millions from 2007-8 to the season we've just finished in 2019-20. The green bars are the New Zealand market and the blue bars are the export markets. We see there's a very positive trend of increasing value in our markets, particularly after 2013-14, when we did feel there was a step change in our industry. The chart of progressing industry value seems even better when we bring in the very volatile volumes of avocados that we have in New Zealand. Avocado, Hass avocados are inherently biennial bearing, so they have a big crop one year and a lower crop the next. In New Zealand, we have an additional factor, which is our climatic and environmental conditions, which mean we are irregular bearing. So we have some very good yields from avocados, but then one and sometimes two years when the yields are much lower. This definitely causes issues right through the value chain from the amount of capacity we need to harvest, to pack, and of course to our exporters in our markets where they are one year having to increase the amount of avocados that they're getting their customers to buy 
but disappointing those same customers the following year with much lower volumes. New Zealand Avocado works across the value chain and our work we do in the market is mostly on digital platforms. We now have digital platforms on seven different in seven different countries and we use in-market agencies and local language to ensure we're getting the message across about the wonderful versatility and health attributes of avocados from New Zealand. We've also had a strategy where we're increasing our sales into the Asian markets and this chart shows uh, the net sales into the um, a number of Asian markets that we're seeing um, since 2012-13, a very positive growing value of sales into Asia. I talked about the step change made in our industry in, from 2013-14 and we certainly appreciate the investment we've had from the Crown in looking at increasing our yield, increasing collaboration and knowledge across our supply chain and putting more effort into developing markets outside our main markets, which are the New Zealand market and the Australia market. We've had a five-year program called Avocados Go Global, which has now been extended for two years. Our extension is looking at differentiating an avocado from New Zealand, looking at supply chain enhancements, particularly improving quality and ensuring we've got best practice in place. And we're looking to understand whether we should have a breeding program here in New Zealand. One of our biggest issues is our inconsistent yield, and this chart shows our industry average yields in tonnes per hectare, as I suggested, and up-down uh, volatility, but you'll also see some years we're actually getting a, we're not just going up and down, we're having a, a very low year and then some increase and then a bit further increase, so we're, we definitely are irregular rather than alternate. This slide sets out the industry structure. Avocados from New Zealand operate under the Horticulture Export Authority Act, legislation in New Zealand that is authorised by the HEA. Under that, we are required to have an export marketing strategy and required to have an Avocado Industry Limited being the recognised product group for exports out of New Zealand. The Avocado, Avocado Industry Limited is a 100% owned subsidiary of the New Zealand Avocado Growers Association, which is a membership organisation for all growers growing avocados in New Zealand. The recognised product group, Avocado Industry Limited, also requires that growers, packers and licensed exporters register with New Zealand Avocado on an annual basis and that registration includes a compliance agreement that they will abide by the rules in the export marketing strategy. In order to export avocados from New Zealand, an exporter must get a licence from the Horticulture Export Authority. In order to get that licence, the Horticulture Export Authority will seek permission or seek approval from the Avocado Industry Limited about the way that that exporter will contribute to the industry as a whole, as well as being commercially able to operate as an, export, as an exporter of avocados from New Zealand. We've currently got 4,000 hectares producing avocados, but since then, since 2017, we've got seen some very large developments of avocados across New Zealand, particularly in Northland. These are much larger than the current avocado production we've got, where the average orchard is only about four hectares in size. These orchards are between 50 and 200 hectares, and they are, they are being planted intensively with on-orchard management practices that enable these orchards to be producing much more quickly on smaller trees with a lot more pruning and, and canopy management and they are anticipating that there will be more automation across those industries. Most of those developments have come from 
dairy farms. And this chart just shows a little bit in terms of the comparison of a dairy farm and an avocado orchard. This is looking at one hectare of dairy versus one hectare of avocados. Avocados have four times as much fat and avocados have good fat, uh, monounsaturated fats, um, so a very positive contribution um, to human health. We also, avocados have two grams per 100 grams of protein. It's the only fruit that has protein, so versus a hectare of dairy cows, avocados actually do have um, at least 25% as much protein um, coming off that hectare. In terms of feeding the world, there are three times as many avocado, three times as many calories from an avocado hectare as you do get out of dairy. And this, these farm returns were back in 2018 rather more economically viable with an avocado orchard than a dairy farm. I mentioned earlier some of the challenges and these have been highlighted in a Netflix movie called Rotten. But the global media has is talking um, often about the issues around sustainability um, of avocado production. Please make avocado sustainable again was a headline. In Chile, the exploitation of aquifers to grow avocado causes scarcity of water. Mexico's avocado boom is causing deforestation and illness in local population. And also talk about the cartel wars across the Mexican avocado industry. Some very good news in the New Zealand avocado industry was when we were winners, when we bid to host the next Avocado World Congress. So we bid in 2019 in Medellin in Colombia, and we won the right to host the World Avocado Congress in New Zealand in 2023. It will be a very big event for New Zealand and for our industry, and we have the support from our avocado growing partners around the world, and we will be welcoming scientists, marketers, researchers, growers, and value chain stakeholders from the, around the world to New Zealand to talk up avocados. We are forecasting a bright future. Looking ahead to 2040, we believe in this chart on the left that we will have up to 10,000 hectares planted by 2040. That's with the 5,000 hectares that are being planted now or already productive. And we see further growth and we're forecasting further growth uh, for avocados because of the availability of land, the availability of the supply chain and the increasing demand in our markets. And when we forecast out to 2040, we see a billion dollar industry by 2040. We see the growth on in avocados, provided we get it right, provided we are using best practice, and provided we work together collaboratively, both in New Zealand and with global partners. So we're seeing a very bright future for our industry.